Hey folks, welcome back to the Prep, Set, and Go video. We're at step number three, creating your pages. Hopefully you've watched the previous video on creating a storyboard. We're going to be referring to the storyboard page as we create our new pages. We're also going to use that storyboard page to rename some existing pages and figure out which pages we're going to be removing from the site. Now, if you have an existing website, one thing of importance I'd like to note. If you're creating a brand new site to replace an existing site, make sure you keep your pages the page names the same. When I say page names, that would be the uh, document name over here. Keep that the same as what you have in your existing site and rename your pages to match or rename the pages in your template to match. The reason being is when you publish the new site up to your server, if Google has come along and spidered the content of your existing pages, it's looking at the document name. If you publish the site up using different page names, Google will treat that as a new page and new content, and it could cause problems with the search rankings that you've already established. So, with that said, let's take a look at our storyboard page, and we're going to run through and we're going to create our new pages, rename some existing pages, and then delete what we don't need. Um, now, I made a couple of notes over here under my layouts column. For example, the Frizoo team, we're going to be renaming the About page. For the Frizoo tournament results, we're going to be renaming the curriculum page. Also to note, we're going to be using the About page to create the Frizoo upcoming tournaments page. You can create a new page based on any layout in your site. It doesn't matter. Any page that's included in the template, you can duplicate and create a new page from it. Because different pages have different content layouts, some of those content layouts might work better for certain new pages in your site. So, what we talked about in the previous video is go through, preview all the pages in your site first, see what the pages look like, see what the content, how the content is arranged, and it may give you an idea of one page will work better for creating a new page than another. And a very fast way of doing this is just preview the index page in a web browser and use the nav bar to review each of the pages included in your site. So you can take a look at the different content areas and the different headers. And in some of the advanced videos in the tutorial section, we actually show you how to take a header from one type of layout and place it into another type of layout. We also teach you how to take the content from one sort of layout and paste it into another page. So they're, they're swappable. You can take the header from one page and put it into the content region or put it into a different page. And the same with the content regions, you can swap those out as well. Right. But you can use the nav bar to sort of take a look at all the different pages that are included in the site to see how the content is arranged, what the content is, and if it could be used for you know, an existing page that you want in your site or renamed or repurposed for something else. So jumping right into it, what we're first going to do is I'm going to create the for Zoo upcoming tournaments page. I'm going to create my new pages first. To create a new page, first thing I'm going to do is just copy the name of the document. I'm going to double click on the page I want to copy, which is the about page, or this is the page I want to use for my new page. I'm going to open it in the uh, design window, click on the file menu, select save as, and I'm just going to paste that document name right in there and click on save. In a second or two, you'll see the page show up in my file list here. Yep, there it is for Zoo Upcoming Tournaments. Okay, we're going to, uh, and you see the page is actually open in the design window, as well as the original page I used to create the, the new page from. So I can actually close both of these down now. And I'm going to select the next one, copy. I'm going to open up the press.htm page, and that happens to be in my pages folder. I'm going to double click to open that. File, save as paste and save. Now what will happen because the press.htm page is located in a subfolder in the pages folder, it's going to add it to the pages folder for me. There it is right there for Zoo Book of Tea Time. I don't want it in this folder, I want it in the root of my site. So I'm just going to grab that page, drag it into the root, and let Dreamweaver update any links. And there we go, I can close that down now. So I've added two new pages to my site just like that. Now I'm going to rename the About page to for Zoo Team. So I just copy this. I'm just going to Control C in my keyboard to copy it. I'm going to slowly double click on the name of the page, select it and paste, hit Enter on the keyboard, 
and let Dreamweaver update the links to this page. Excellent, that's done. I'm going to move down the list, make sure I've got contact, contact confirm, contact, contact confirm. For Zoo Photos, that's going to be our photo slideshow. So we're going to copy, double click, slice, and boom, update. Keep going down the list. Now we've already got the Frizzoo tournament results. No, we don't because it's the curriculum page. Excellent. So we're going to copy this one and paste in place over here. Hit enter. Let Dreamweaver update the links. And we're done. Now we have the Frizzoo upcoming events. We do. And we have the Frizzoo book of tea time. And we do. I'm just going to refresh to put them back in order. Take a look at my list. Take a look at the pages in my folder and remove anything I don't need. Now I believe the only thing that doesn't match up at this point in time is my FAQs page. I don't need that. So I'm going to delete it. And there you have it. We now have a base framework to work with. We now have the pages in the site that we want for launching the website. We're just going to move on to updating the shared library components and then we're ready for content.